guys, welcome back to my channel today. In today's video, I'm doing something so different, you guys, as in so, so different. A couple of weeks ago, I asked you guys on Instagram, what are your favorite drugstore holy grail makeup products? Now, this is going to be a haul of all of those products that you guys told me to buy. These are all items that you guys love, and I'm so excited because the drugstore landscape, you guys, is one that I am literally absent from. Like, I don't even know what's good anymore. I don't think I purchased a drugstore item since maybe 10 years ago, maybe. It has been a hot minute since I set foot in a drugstore when it comes to the makeup section. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean that I think I'm above drugstore makeup, 100% not true. Basically, I just love the shopping experience in the high-end category. I love that it's a bit more of a different element and there's things that I love about that category, which is why I made my channel basically high-end related. But curiosity has killed the cat at this point, and I'm super excited to test your drugstore favorites out because I was genuinely curious what's good in the drugstore. Now, without further ado, let's get on to all of these items I just hauled based on your guys' recommendation. So here is all of the Shoppers Drug Mart stuff I have. This is a Canadian uh, retailer. They do have a beauty boutique that has like a high-end version. It's kind of new to their stores. And then they also have the drugstore section, of course. So I was able to get everything from here with the exception of two items that I did order online. All right, first of all, you guys, the receipt is hilarious. I had to share this with you because again, this is the first thing I noticed because it's been so long since I've been in like the drugstore category, of course. So this is like a full face of makeup with even some extras and it comes to 182 Canadian dollars. And I feel like, how much could I get at Sephora for that? Maybe like four products? <laughs> It's terrible. I felt like that was the first thing I had to share with you because that is definitely a change for me. And I told my husband right away and he's like, wow, that's amazing. <laughs> First, I'm gonna start with the two things I got from ColourPop and Louise, if you are watching, which I know you probably are, you were endorsing ColourPop like crazy. You're like, it's the best, it's the best. I am into peaches. As you guys know, I love the color scheme of them. And this is the one I picked up from their site. This is the ColourPop Baby Got Peach palette. And it is a nine pan palette. Super cute. The packaging is just like a, you know, peachy plastic and then you have the colors right in here. So this is gorgeous, definitely kind of up my alley when it comes to color scheme, I'm really excited. This is what looks like a pressed glitter on top and the shade is called Hungry Ghost. So yeah, this is cute. While I was on the site, I found myself gravitating towards one of their blushes. And this is something that I look back and I'm like, probably didn't need, <laughs> if I'm honest. Like when I think about all of the smart shopping videos I'm doing, I'm like, yeah, this probably was one that got me sucked in at the last second. So I too fall for the gimmicks, guys, just so you guys know. But this is the Pressed Powder Cheek Blush from the Peach Collection as well. It's called Frisky Business. And this is also a very cute peachy blush. So as you can see, same kind of like plasticky uh, peach packaging, but I mean, ColourPop is so affordable. They're probably not spending too, too much money on the packaging aspect. So I'm really, really excited to give this blush a go as well. Okay, now when I asked you guys to tell me a mascara that you love, it was basically one that just got screamed from the rooftops, basically. It was like, this is the one that you need, Jenna. And so many of you told me that. So I decided to grab it. This is from L'Oreal. It is the Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara. And this, you guys, reminds me of when I was a teenager, I had the Voluminous Mascara, like the original. So I was like, wow, they came out with like this cute, like pink packaging one. I'm so excited. And this one has a wand very similar to the Too Faced Better Than Sex. So I wonder if that's the one that you guys think this is a dupe for. Let me know down below, but this is really pretty. Like, I love this. I got it in the shade Blackest Black. I think there's a few other shades, but this is cute. There was one other mascara that came in very, very close as second choice from you guys. And I had to pick this one up too, but I was also a little bit confused. I hope I picked the right one out. So let me know down below if I didn't, but this is from Essence. It is the Lash Paradise False Lash Effect Mascara. And this is the one that I got, but there was quite a few of the like lash princess ones. I was like, shoot, which one are they wanting me to buy? Because they had like a whole range. There was a waterproof one that was sold out. So this one's not waterproof. So it just says false lash effect. I'm thinking this might be the one that you guys were thinking of, but again, let me know if I got the wrong one. It hasn't been opened yet. So maybe I can return it. 
if drugstore has a return policy? <laughs> I don't even know. I'll have to double check that. Now, when it comes to foundation, a lot of you guys know that I love the glowy kind of mid coverage type product. And this was the clear winner, you guys, from so many of you. This is the Physician's Formula, the Healthy Foundation. The shade that I picked up is LN4. Now you guys, this to me is like one of the biggest reasons why the drugstore kind of shopping area for me is a little bit like tougher than Sephora for instance because there were no testers of this at all. So I was literally in like their lighting at the store kind of going like, okay, is this the one? Like this looks like it might work. <laughs> literally kind of looking like a fool and I know that they normally have like a lady that kind of helps you in the makeup department I don't know if she can like op open stuff up maybe she can but there was nobody there when I was shopping so I was like I guess this is the closest match and they had like a little bit it said like light and then light neutral and I'm like I guess <laughs> so I had a kind of an interesting time trying to pick this out and I really hope this is close enough to my skin tone that is what I remember about drugstore there weren't a lot of testers there were definitely more testers though from other products than I remember so I do like that but this was one that had nothing so I'm just praying that this one works out <laughs> Now, speaking of Physicians Formula, this was the clear winner when it came to bronzer. This is the Butter Bronzer from Physicians Formula. And this one is one that I know is super popular because I've heard other creators talk about this like crazy, that it's glowy and buildable and gorgeous. So I'm really excited. But when it came to the shade, I didn't know which one to pick. And again, there were no testers out. So I just kind of guessed, <laughs> which I think, you know what? It makes sense if you're in the drugstore kind of category and you love that like type of makeup the best that you kind of rely more so on reviews and swatches and things because often there aren't the testers out at least that was my impression or my store so maybe that's wrong I don't know but this is the shade I picked up it is sunkissed sunkissed bronzer that's the one I picked up didn't look too dark to me but there was one that looked a little bit fair so I was like eh, it probably isn't the one they're talking about so hopefully this sunkissed shade is good because I'm excited to try it <laughs> it's so nice it's like coconutty suntan lotion kind of idea this is the shade I picked up super cute I'm excited but again let me know your thoughts is this the shade that I would like I hope it is <laughs> okay now when it came to brow products this was another place where I felt like I really had to guess and this is something too that I kind of look back and I'm like would have been nice to have somebody kind of help me with that especially who was more familiar with the covergirl line but this is the covergirl easy breezy brow micro define and micro fine and define <laughs> Sorry, I'm terrible at this, clearly. And the shade that I picked up is Soft Brown. I guessed, you guys, really, really guessed on this one. So I'm hoping it's okay. Again, I'm going to be doing a full video of me testing all of these out for the first time and applying them and stuff like that. So I'm really excited for that video as well. But this one has a micro tip, which I appreciate because as you guys can tell, my brows are not big, bushy, voluminous. Like, they're a little bit sad and overplucked and thin. <laughs> But do I love them? Yes, because they're part of me and I'm going to embrace them. But I do need something that is more like a micro fine kind of tip. So I'm excited for that. And I also saw that they had this clear brow setting gel as well. This is the Easy Breezy Brow like clear gel. I have heard some good things about this one as well. So I'm excited for that. Okay, now this was the clear winner when it came to black liquid liner. Now, as you guys can tell just by my look today, black liquid liner is part of my look. I really love it. I feel like I wear it every single day, give or take. Like it's something I've become very comfortable with, like seeing on my face and I love it. So this was your recommendation for liquid liner. And this is from The Balm. It is the Schwing <laughs> Black Liquid Liner. It comes in this really fun package here, you guys. So this is the package of this. So again, it has the same kind of label on the package itself. It's just a black plastic packaging. So I'm really excited to try this because you guys have told me such good things about it. Now, this was the concealer that you guys loved. I think this was the only concealer recommendation I had for the most part. Actually, no, I think there was a couple others, but this was the one that won by an absolute landslide. This is from Maybelline. It is the Instant Age Rewind Eraser Multi-Use Concealer. It's for under eye concealing, face shape, all over face use. Now this is another one that I guessed on my shade because there were no samples out. <laughs> and there were only like four shades of this I think at my store. It was like fair, light, light, medium, medium, deep basically. So I was like light? I don't know. <laughs> so here's to hoping this isn't a huge mess when it comes to complexion products you guys. But anyways this I'm super excited about too. It has like what looks like a 
kind of like fluff that you can use to apply it. I'm thinking you kind of like dial it maybe, kind of like how the Charlotte Tilbury ones are, but let me know your thoughts. Maybe that's totally wrong. Now for highlighter, this is the one I picked up based on your recommendations as well. This is from Pixie. It is the Glowy Gossamer Duo <laughs> and it's in Subtle Sunrise. This is very interesting as well, you guys, because it looks very, very beautiful. There's one that's more of like a champagne-y color and there's one that's more pinky. Wow, so cute. I love these colors. I wonder if you could use this as a blush too. You'll have to let me know. But this is, wow, it looks really good quality, you guys. Just looking at it, I'm like, I hope it is because it looks kind of like a little bit foiled. I'm really excited. Wow, that's pretty. I mean, the one on the left looks like your standard champagne highlight, but I mean, the cost of this is insane. It's so much better than some of the other ones. <laughs> Wow, I wonder if you guys are gonna convert me. This is crazy. Now for blush, again, this was a landslide recommendation from you guys. This was from Milani. This is the Baked Blush or Baked Powder Blush in the shade number five, Luminoso. Now you guys, Luminoso was the one in particular that you wanted me to check out. It was like, Luminoso, Luminoso, please, please pick that one because it's so good. And it is, it looks like a nude kind of peachy, everyday blush like it looks really beautiful reminds me of the physician's formula one and that it has like a brush kind of inside as well which i will not use i'm telling you that right now i never use brushes with them i don't know but anyways okay <laughs> just being so honest here this looks gorgeous you guys doesn't smell like anything at all and then let's see Ooh, it's like a gorgeous everyday blush very light though so I wonder if you have to build it up. Let me know. For people that love it, do you build it up? Do you keep it subtle? Okay, we are down to the last few things here. So again, another recommendation from you guys. These are both from Milani as well. So this one is the eyeshadow primer. And I knew when I was looking at my full face of makeup that I didn't have a primer. So I was looking at all of your recommendations. And this is the one that came up the most. So this one I'm excited about. This kind of packaging reminds me of the primer that I love from Smashbox. It's very similar with like the black cap and like the silver base. So I'm really excited. I hope this one is good because I have heard such good things from you guys. And then the next Milani product, which is the last one, is actually their setting spray. They did have three different ones, like a dewy, a matte, and then this one. I just picked the middle one. This is the Make It Last setting spray. So again, I will be testing this one out as well, but it sounded like Milani was a very nice brand amongst drugstore lovers. So I'm really excited to test test all of this out. Okay, now this was the last thing I picked up. You guys know what's the last thing that we're missing and it's definitely lip product. So, so many of you guys said that I should be trying out the L'Oreal Color Rouge lipsticks or Color Riche lipsticks. And when I looked at the store, I was like, there's so many to choose from. They feel like, I feel like all of them are Color Riche. Like it was like matte, satin, satin nude, satin pink. I'm just like, my goodness, what do I test out? So this is the one I picked up and I don't know if it's part of their Color Rouge line now that I think about it. It did say Color Rouge or Rouge in the um, like little tag, like the scan code. So I'm hoping that it is. I'm probably saying that wrong, you guys. Color Rouge. There we go. I think that's what it is. <laughs> What's the correct pronunciation? Let me know. But this is the collection exclusive L'Oreal Paris and JLo Color Rouge lipstick shade. I don't know you guys, but I liked the packaging. It was matte and it has like a little bit of like a gold something, little something something in the middle, which I like. And this is number 370 Jennifer's Nude. Now, this to me looks like a beautiful lipstick, very everyday wearable color. Like this looks like something I'm sure I have tons of in my collection already. But when I swatched it in store, it's definitely more sheer. And then you kind of like amp it up to a few layers to kind of get like a full pigmentation impact. So I don't know if it's just this one or if it's all of the color reach ones, but this is how it looks here. So you can kind of see beautiful pinky everyday nude, but like a little bit of like a sheenness to it, like a bit of a shine, right? So I'm definitely excited for this as well. Now, let me know all of your thoughts on these drugstore items. Like I said, I will be putting them to the test in a future video that is coming very, very soon. So don't forget to subscribe to stay tuned for that on how I think these guys perform because that is also the big ticket here. I'm really curious to see how good are these compared to some of my high-end favorites. Like I just can't wait to test them out. Let me know down below, what are your drugstore recommendations? I would love to know for a future video of course and until my next one guys take care thanks so much for watching bye guys you and me everything that we've been through has made us strong you won't believe we've had our great 
But somewhere there's a light inside of us It shows the way